All right. So this is part two because Mira was getting a little chatty. This is a gardenia. These are lovely, lovely fragrant flowers. And she found a rock and she's banging it. So that's, if you hear that, they have fruit trees. Hold on, I'm gonna go look at the fruit trees, okay? All right. This is a tangerine for $19.99. And it looks like it's about, about three feet tall, three and a half feet tall. And it's got blooms on it. Look at that, so you know it's gonna bear fruit. It is sitting in a, a little tub of water. And they're $19.99. These are oranges. I'm coming back for you, love. But I noticed too, it has those little green fertilizer pellets in it. These are more tangerines. They're a little bit smaller. More oranges. Here's a lemon. I'm coming, Mira. I told you I was coming. Okay. Okay. Here are some flowers that Mira found. On the wagon. All right. Yes, I usually call her a little bit, but you know, her name's Mira. A lime. This one is a lime. A lime. Mm-hmm. A lemon lime. A Persian Tahiti lime. So this is the name of the place and the phone number. These are Meyer lemons. And all of these are $20, I think. Look at this one, $189. This one is easily seven, seven feet tall. This one I think is grafted and it might have, it's a cocktail tree. It has three to six grafts on it. Navel orange, ruby red, grapefruit, pond can tangerine, mineola tangelo, Meyer lemon, or Persian lime. And you can leave it in the pot. You don't have to put it in the ground. That's here. All right. And here are some limes. Oh, these are nice. They already have fruit on them. Patio citrus lime. So it's a row of limes, a row of lemons. These trees are $39 and they already have fruit on them. Look at this lemon tree, $39. Trust and believe I will be back here. I will be back. Don't do that because it might have little sharp corners in it, okay? Because the lemons, the limes, and I think the $39 variety, I can afford that. <laughs> These 189 ones, I could probably afford it too, but I don't want to. Look at this one. This is $359. And this is the cocktail tree. So... Look at this one, already bearing fruit. It's almost worth it. Like, why wouldn't you buy the one that's already bearing fruit? It's amazing. This is a tangelo. I don't see any fruit on it, but there's fruit on this cocktail tree. Where? A queen palm. Okay, hold that paper. Okay, so let's let's keep rolling. You going back on? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so they also have mulch. Yes, I'm I'm making my shopping list. Do you have any flowers? I saw pink flowers on that thing. There's some of the bushes that have flowers on them. Yes. The 
the cocktail citruses right here. Um, this, don't pick any flowers that you see. Only if they're on the ground already. So, like for instance, this branch right here has like a whole bunch of fruit on it. How can you tell? Okay, so this one's labeled right here. So are they labeled with? Uh -huh. So all of these are Meyer lemons, mm -hmm. right? And sorry. So all of these are Meyer lemons, okay? And then this side, Mineola tangelos, right? Yeah, this one's grapefruit. Oh, I see a grapefruit. Oh my goodness. It's a big daddy. There it is. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you. It almost looks like we're missing one. Right. So, are there any kind of... Are there... This one is a Meyer lemon. A ruby grapefruit. Persian lime. Navel orange. We're missing tags on that one, I believe. Okay. And now, would it be better to Tangerine. would it be better to buy like the four different trees or? That's your preference. Depends on how much room you have. Right. Right. Your property. Right. You know, if you want to start out little and get, and you know, these are expensive because we're all in one tree. Right. It, are there any guarantees like if it if I do everything possible to keep it alive and it dies it's not like Home Depot good. where you can bring it back no he guarantees most of his work but okay. you gotta water the key to this stuff is water right okay it smells real pretty in here yeah these already blo have blooms on them okay so what, if I were to transplant them is that a good idea right well because right now is, is a good time to transplant mm -hmm. right absolutely like I'm, I would just summer be. Time, summer months is the only time that it's not a good because it's too hot. You know, okay. July, so wait till like September, October. We're in that now. Yeah. So yeah, no, you can plant. Okay. Okay. I'm so excited. Yeah, and we have the little ones that are over there that still have fruit on them. Right. Um, and we have orange trees over there, a little orange tree. Yeah. So. I yeah. I can afford this section. So are there? So I see limes and I see lemons. Are there so oranges in this size no, too? In the okay, size. I'd have to get the small orange. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Look. Oh, pretty. That's beautiful. Don't forget the wagon. Mom. I won't. Navel oranges, kumquats, and dimines, and little oranges. Okay. Do you have any that, because everything here looks so beautiful and healthy, are there, is there a clearance section where it's no, like, yeah, no. see, guys, everything looks awesome. See, anytime you see a white flower, then you know that's the one to buy. That's your fruit coming. Yes. And this is a, a kumquat. kumquat. Okay. I'm so excited. But never so happy to take a child on a doctor's appointment. Never, never, never. And they're at the price where you can like make gifts out of them. Uh, my girlfriend gave them all as um, Christmas gifts last year. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. To her family, and they loved it. All right. So, do you guys do um, like landscaping help? or anything like that? We don't have a landscape design. We have somebody that can install them for you. Right. We're going to install them. Okay. But we don't All right. Design. We'll be happy to help you if you can. I'm kind of a, I would say I'm a weekend warrior. Okay. Because during the summer months, I can do more things, but then you really can't transplant at that time, like you said. I mean, you can. It's just, yeah. It's just Water, water, water. water. Stay on top of it and water yeah. Every day and I have that. my water set up on a timer, so like I'm here. I've been at work all day, so I know it gets watered. But um, yeah, this is amazing. Oh yeah, it's fun. I know you guys it's really hard working here. I know, goodness, I've never worked so hard in my life as working on a farm. I oh, really yeah. never have. Yeah. 
but I love it. It's absolutely the most rewarding. And then I say it's even more rewarding because I had lunch today and it was everything that I grew. I cannot wait to eat this. I'm gonna pour on my salad Here's dressing. my salad with some salad dressing. Here's one of the carrots. Oh, it's got some salad dressing on it. Oh, that looks so good. Mm. Everything, my whole entire lunch was food that I grew. Like, that's that, something to be really proud of. I, it's the greatest feeling ever. Like the, the whole salad, the, the carrots, the, even the little melon I ate afterwards was everything that I grew. It was wow. awesome. Yeah, this is great. Thank you so much for- My pleasure. Thank you.